Hi everyone, so today I bought something different. Um, so here, it's, um, they call it an intelligent ear endoscope. So, you know, when you're using your cotton buds, twiddling in your ear, actually, have you ever thought, oh, is it clean inside? What's it look like? So, um, yeah, doctors can see because they've got that little thing that opens the ear a bit and they can look deep into the ear canal, but um, we we can't do it. We can't really go look in our ear. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd buy this ear endoscope and, and have a look. So I just thought I'd share with you some of the um, sort of more cultural differences. So here we've got the, an earbud as we'd normally clean the ear with. And here um, we actually have what all the sort of uh, Asian Chinese people are familiar with. It's um, what we call a little ear pick. So you just place that in your ear and you give it a scrape around and you know, all the gunk comes out on this, this little tip. So that's effectively what this um, endoscope uh, is an iteration of. Um, so it's basically putting a camera onto the end of this tip. Here it is, um, out of the box. Nothing special in terms of the information. Some instructions, which are way too simple. And here's the device itself. So it's got a little cover and that at the end, uh, there's a camera at the end. Uh, some attachments uh, which you can uh, put onto the end. Um, as I mentioned, the uh, Chinese version has this little, uh, little tip and it's got variants of that um, in this little pack which is just emptied out there. So um, you can then put all the different tips uh, onto the end and just push them on very simply and obviously you've got to orientate the, the camera properly uh, so it's at the right angle um, I think in China they like the, um, the spiral thing so um, yeah it's many different things so the thing's wireless um, you connect to your um, wireless router and um, at the end it's got a light so uh, turn it on and off but I'm going to use it for lots of different things so uh, firstly what it was intended for uh, which is to look inside your ear so um, if you're grossed out by the pictures and videos um, of bodily parts then now's the time to switch off so its intention is for the ear uh, but I'm actually going to use it for lots of different things and uh, I'm going to go inside the ear, have a look inside the ear canal. Um, I'm going to go up the nose as well, and also into the throat, so I can actually see uh, what's uh, inside. So hopefully it will work. Then I'm going to have a look inside some household utensils. So uh, maybe in a plug or something, no, maybe that's a bit too dangerous. Um, some electrical items. And most interestingly, down the sink, so down the plug hole. So is it blocked? What's it look like? Is it dirty? Is it clean? Or do I need to bleach it yet? So let's start with the first one. Here, you've got that uh, attachment thing. And um, yeah, you can get in your ear. Um, I'm not so sure. It's obviously got some sort of angle. Um, and you've We've got the attachment. Let me see if I can grab it. There we go. So here the camera itself goes straight down. Um, and you can see the tip, which is like the spoon thing. Um, it can't turn corners, so yeah, you have to sort of turn it around and stuff. Um, yeah, so I. I I'm actually not going to use it in terms of its function, um, so I'm just going to take that off and just inspect. Okay, right, so I've taken that end bit off, the contraption, and left right up down, it's sort of like a reverse, so just going in there and mm, it's trying to get used to the angle um, and trying to sort of turn that little corner. So, uh, struggling a little bit there, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go in and uh, see it eventually. 
So let's take a more sort of direct approach, just go straight to the canal, straight through. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's go so, a little cautious, obviously, I won't want to go too far in, but um, yeah, that's obviously the income. I'm not going any more than that, that's it. I've seen enough there. But um, yeah, yeah, it looks relatively clean, a bit hairy. But the other year. Okay, again. Hmm. Little, little red there. Little red at the bottom. Just at the bottom. Hmm. Not sure what that is. Yep. Yeah, that's my left ear. I mean that side. Wow. Whoa, well, that's the very first time I've seen my ear drop. <laughs> okay, so that's my ear. So, as its intended use, it works. Well, you can see inside. I don't think it's particularly easy to use to sort of take stuff out using that spoon thing, but um, yeah, next. Okay, so um, let's do the back of the throat. So you can see the Adam's apple tonsil or whatever. Well, you can actually see that it's the back of the tonsils. And I've gone as far as I can, really deep into the back, and that's the back of the throat. Obviously, I can't change angle and I can't turn a corner, so I can't see down the esophagus. But, okay, that's interesting. Obviously, the back is actually your tonsils. Um, yeah, so actually, you can see the, the back of your throat. If you've got a throat infection or whatever, you can stick that down there and have a look if you want. Now another gross one. Um, let's go up the nose. You can actually see that in your nose. A um, little cautious on this one. Um, just taking my nasal spray because you can stick that up your nose. So just being a little cautious about how much you go up your nose. But um, it should be okay. It's got a camera so you can see. So let's let's see what we can see. Okay, yeah, still got the angle wrong, but hey, doesn't really matter when you're up your nose. You so you pass the hairs into an area where you really wouldn't be able to see. Um, you have a nasal mucus there, which is gross. You can see further down at the back, the, the nubs. Um, yeah. Okay, it's the first time I've seen the back of my, deep inside my nose. My nose is quite sensitive, so um, yeah, it's nice to see. And when I have a, you know, maybe an irritated nose or inflamed nose, I can actually see what's going on inside. Okay, so yeah, it works. here obviously to, to trap the, the dust and the dirt prevent that from going up into the, the, the back of your nose okay so next so this is great because um, it's um, it's a camera uh, with a light at the end yeah so this can go anywhere um, obviously it needs to be a place where I can push this through um, and that literally could be anywhere. So let's give it a test in some other place. It's my clock. I've got a little winding section, which um, I'm just gonna go in through and see what I can see inside. And effectively I can go and see the inside of my clock. So basically anywhere which you can push that camera through, you can, you can see. So it's actually pretty good. Right, so now the really horrible part, um, down your sinkhole. So, um, what's it look like? Is it clean? Is it blocked? I have no idea. And obviously you can't see unless you shine your torch down it, but you can stick this down it and um, have a look. So, let's do it. Right, so, here we go. Anything. 
so I have no idea what it's looking like. So, yeah, okay, it doesn't go in too far, but looks okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty brainless, and oh, that's that like midsection where that plug thing goes in. Yeah, okay, I think that's fine. So, not blocked or anything. Oh, yeah, what about those side ones? Ooh. I need to clean that better. Um, so yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna get a squirt of bleach. Um, so the sinkhole obviously is clean, um, but the side, the overflow where there's, you know, when you have too much water, uh, oh, okay, that definitely needs to clean. There's lots of bacteria building up in there. Shall we have a look at uh, the bathroom one, the bathroom sink. So yeah, exactly the same mechanism. So let's, um, let's have a look inside. Right, down inside. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's gross. Wow, okay. Let's say no more, that's horrible. Um, so that needs cleaning and bleaching. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, that's, that's a good use of it. So now I know. Um, areas where I couldn't access before. Um, Potentially you can use this this um, probe this camera device for it. I don't know what's intelligent about it um, It says it's an intelligent ear endoscope um, Yeah, so uh, It cost me 20 sing dollars. So it's around, you know, 10 12 pounds So is it worth money? Well, it connects to your phone uh, be it Apple or Android um, It's wireless it connects to your Wi-Fi. It's rechargeable um yeah, I actually think it's um, worth the money. It's a throwaway device now, so I've, I've got it wet. Um, and now looking at the pictures, they're very blur, which means it's the water's ingressed, and uh, I think that's, it's dead now. So um, obviously you don't get it wet, don't dip it in the water, which is what I did, and which it says in the instructions don't do. So yeah. So that's it for today. Um, I just thought I'd share that with you. I uh, hope you're not too grossed out by uh, my nose and throat. <laughs> so, um, that was fun for me anyway, um, just to, to see what was inside. And um, yeah, thanks very much. Uh, remember, this way, this way. can't remember now. Like and subscribe. See you next time.